Hi, this is Bruce with Hunsaker Home Hacks. Please subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for future notifications. Share me with a friend and on social media. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. So, in this version of Let's Talk Robots, I had a totally different plan. Something about all the robots that were coming out. But now, we're going to go over the good the bad and the ugly. A lot of things have happened in the robots commu robotics community. So we are talking about Luna. Right here is Luna. Now Luna is by KeyTech. KeyTech is also the creator of ClickBot. ClickBot looks like this right here. And ClickBot was a very successful campaign that was delivered and is also now available on Amazon. The ClickBot team um, they, uh, through KeyTech made ClickBot and it's been a very successful modular robot. I'll be completely honest, I don't have a ClickBot. I've wanted a ClickBot, but you know, I have limited funds and things like this don't really produce that much to actually keep more than making more videos. But KeyTech is not your standard thing, it's not like a startup startup. KeyTech has a successful product. They have been, they developed that successful product. And then three years ago, they started developing another product. So the KeyTech team started working three years ago on another project. And that project is Luna. Luna is kind of like a corgi looking animal robot. Really, truly, it looks like it was based on a corgi. Matter of fact, they even refer to that at some point in their demonstrations of information about the development of Luna. And Luna to me looks like um, a affordable version of a robot that could be on the side of um, robots of the past. When robot dogs were around, we had Techno, we had different types of robot dogs, and then you had Sonia Bio. Now, I've always wanted a bio, but I'll be honest with you. I just haven't been able to afford one, uh, but I can't shell out $3,000. I just don't have that type of capital. Luna is kind of what we thought Chip would be, but in turn, Chip just never really turned out to be that. But Luna looks like it was going to crest that gap, so it would be better than Chip, and then also in turn be more affordable than the Sony Abayo. Luna was going to be that, but in Corgi form. But now you have the bad. So a company, let's go with the cloud company. The cloud company with their heads in the clouds have decided that Luna looks like their product. And because of that, Luna is now being struck down at the end of the Kickstarter due to copyright claims. And here's the claims. Well, we're gonna go through the claims here real quick. I've highlighted them. Describe infringement material. Luna the robot and the entirety of the project violate and infringe on DDL's copyright. And that's going to be right here so you can read it. And other intellectual product. Substantially copies facial graphics. Facial graphics. Now keep that in mind. Animation associated sounds of Vector and Cosmo associated with certain emotions and actions depicted in the Luna video. Other graphic appears on Kickstarter project, including without limitation, wake up, excited, happy, sad, angry, frustrated, curious, go to sleep. Further, the shape and design of Luna's face and eyes copy the shape and design of Vector in Cosmos faces. They are saying that this infringes on the copyrights and that. So we're going to look at something. So they're saying the shape of the eyes that uh, infringes on their copyright. Again, eyes are eyes. And I can't see how emotional tracking, things that happen where you're trying to emote emotions, 
There's only so many different ways to emote emotions. And the fact that one company can say that their robots are the only ones that can have the emotional tracking, such as happy, sad, angry, frustrated, curious, and going to sleep, are their copyrights. That's a ridiculous statement. How would any other company besides this company be able to make a robot that you cannot have emote any type of anger, sadness, happiness, all that? You might as well just give everybody a Prozac and call it a day because that is a ridiculous statement. And this is the same ridiculous statement that they have used before and that is sad. Let's talk about the shape of the head and how that looks and we'll compare them side by side here to see if the shape of the head look like Vector or Cosmo. Do you think that looks like Vector? That looks like, to me, totally different shapes. This, here's the second part. Pennsylvania analyzed protected aspects of Vector and Cosmo under the audiovisual copyright listed above, stated the expression of such emotions through Vector and Cosmo's particularized eye shape, color, and location movement, along with a company sounds creates a protectable expression of robot emotions. So in other words, from I'm getting this as DDL says, you cannot use any type of screen to emote any type of reaction from your robot because if your eyes emote any reaction, then it is in their copyright. And that's freaking ridiculous also. They want their competition, and that's because I think they're afraid of competition, to be stagnant and you can't control anything you can't do anything that would emote any type of emotion you have to have a stagnant face in order to create a robot and that's just simply ridiculous even max here emotes emotions by his eyes they change shape also graphic animatronics and sound associated with the actions of the robots copied for deposits of both copyrights registered blah 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 all right, so they're saying sound, the shape of the head, the design of the head, eyes and characteristic shapes of the eyes. So that's ridiculous. So it looks like they took this and basically whoever represents them just retreaded this and slammed it onto Luna. Why would they slam it onto Luna who had a six, was in heading towards a successful $3 million Kickstarter? and then get it on hold. Well, that's competition. Luna has a lot of different movements. As I said, it's based on like a Corgi. You can see the reference of Corgi in Luna because um, Luna is a robotic dog. That's all I'm saying. You're right, he's a dog. So Luna also uses a real wheel drive system along with a two servo motors that will allow the legs, because the Alona has technically four legs, to be emoted so they can actually move up and down uh, individually. So she can look like she's giving a high five or shake your paw, those type of things. Um, as opposed to a track-based motor, motorized robot. Then we have biped motors, you know, even the coding is different to get a pipe biped to walk than it is to get a track based robot to walk or to get a wheel based robot to walk, especially one that has the ability to emote uh, its body movement in that such a way, because you're going to have the wheels move around and there's the front wheels are not going to be touching the ground. Now the front wheels are not drive ready. They don't have a drive in them that allows more freedom for the robot. Uh, to move and Keytech has spent three years designing Luna before presentation to uh, Kickstarter and Keytech has the ability as proven with ClickBot to design their own robot. All right, so what's your opinion on this? Uh, this seems to be a stifling of development. This seems to be a stifling of uh, we will just say something without actually factual data just to tie it up, just to delay it, just to make sure that the competition is unable to produce yeah. 
unable or to get it onto the market in a way. Kickstarter is supposed to be a kick start. In other words, you kickstart a company's ability to move to the new direction. That new direction in turn is to get something onto the shelves of Walmart, on the shelves of Amazon. So all can actually get out there. Competition is the greatest ability for advancement. Without competition, you will never advance your product. And if a company isn't updating their robot on a monthly, quarterly basis, then your robot is basically a stagnant piece of plastic. And over time, it degrades. So if you have a new product with the latest technology coming in, you have new boards, you have new motors that have been designed. Elec designed a whole new set of servo motors to run in their bot. That is super cool. You know, you have companies producing monthly updates, expanding their robot on a monthly base. That's super cool. I mean, it is what you want from your robotics company because that's going to lead to the next greatest thing. It's going to take you from one product, 1.0, to a true 2.0. 2.0 means there was a dramatic change in overall hardware. It's my job. It is your job. A dramatic change in overall hardware. That's right. In other words, you've advanced the board, you advanced the chipset, you advanced the memory because what you designed and programmed goes way beyond the abilities of the current product. All right, I hope you found the video informative. My name is Bruce with Hunsaker Home Hacks. Please subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for future notifications. Share me with a friend and on social media. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. And me and the boys will see you soon. And just in case, watch the end.